Hello. Yeah, let's do it this way. Hopefully this works instead of doing some weird other stuff. Um, I really hope this is works. Um, okay, so if anyone plays Animal Crossing, it's a really great game on the Switch. Let's see. This game. Really great. Also, I have two webcams now, which is pretty sick. Yeah. Okay, anyways, Animal Crossing, they have a, a certain way of speaking, and it's called Animalese. Um, I know in previous games there was other kinds of languages called Bebabees and one called Silence, but I'm going to be primarily focusing on Animalese. And I looked online and there's there is some cool like tutorials on how to do it but none of them that are like oh you use a DAW and make your own voice into animalies I've seen a lot I like coding and trying different things so I thought oh what if we just made an instrument here on how to make it right in Ableton so anyone can do it and hopefully my Ableton doesn't crash um okay so let's bring up there's these something called the animalese alphabets because the way that animalese works is that you say every letter of um whatever word you're saying so that's why it sounds kind of weird because it's a uh, very just of the exact like if you're gonna say hello it would be h-e-l-l-o but you would be ha e l l o and you would just do that really fast so here is i found this online this person apparently has been uh studying animalese for the past six years um so i think that seems very legit to me and here are how to pronounce all the ones i'm going to actually do the ones that say silent because i mean i want the full alphabet but yeah so let's let's start i'm going to go through every single letter of the alphabet here we go so first you just want to record your voice doing all the letters <laughs> A, ba, k, d, e, f, wa, ha, e, j, k, l, ma, n, o, pa, k, re, s, t, a, w, w, p, y, n. Okay, so you have that recorded. And then what you want to do... So right now, I'm going to do it so that my voice just goes higher. Um, you can make an instrument where you are able to change the pitch um, with a macro, but I think just for the easiest purposes, I'm going to do just this. Okay, so I'm going to double it just in case. So this is going to be the original. And then this one is going to be the transposed one. Okay, let's put this over here. Transpose. So you go into your transpose. You see that every single one is a letter of the alphabet. And then I'm going to transpose it up a little bit so it sounds more chipmunky. A, ba, k, d, e, f, wa, ha, e, j, k, l, ma, n, o, pa, k, re, yeah, so same as like my last video using, if you go over here, make sure it's warped so it, it keeps the tempo that it needs. And then I keep it on complex so it just changes all of the pitch. Um, it doesn't keep the formants, it changes the formants as well. 
So after that, I want to make sure I consolidate this so that I'm going up eight steps in transposition is what's set in final. So now it goes back to zero, uh, even though this is uh, still plus eight. Uh, yeah. So then you want to right click on this audio file and then do slice to new MIDI track. So I want to do it by transient and it will do an algorithm where it will try to slice towards the actual transients. Um, it's not perfect, but this is what you want to do. So transient, slice per transient, and built in, preserve the warp timing. Okay. And now you have, and now you have a full drum rack of all the slices. Ah, ba, k, d, e, f. Which is cool because then you can actually look at exactly what's happening. So what you want to do first is since it, it slides to every transient, let's turn this one off. You want to double click this one and see it didn't do it perfectly. So I'm going to pretty much clean it up a little bit to make sure that I'm getting what I want. Uh. See, this is nothing, so I'm just going to delete that. Actually, maybe the easier way is to do this. Uh. Nothing. Delete that slice. Uh. That's the beginning of the C, so I'm just going to go into the next one and get that C sound. Yeah, it sliced these into two, so just get rid of that. And then I'm just going to put them in line over here so I don't miss doing it. This is nothing. Okay, so before we move on, let's... Uh, name them. So if you go on where it says slice one, you can push command R to rename it. And then this is going to be A. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Anyways, okay. So now what you want to do is you can want to keep it on classic and you want to unmap the looping and you want to make sure the loop is off so when you hold uh. it it doesn't loop itself like if you put a really long note so each file has all the entire audio in it so if you want to reduce space at all you can just go on where the waveform is right click and then crop sample. So it will do only the crop of what uh, it is. Uh. So since we did the whole tr um, slice to mi new MIDI track via transients, um, it auto selects, I mean, it auto maps this um, macro settings for you, which is really cool because you don't have to link them all yourself. Um, so you can change the attack, decay, sustain, release. All that stuff you can see that the sustain right here is moving with this and it will do it for every single one as well i know there's you can like there's animalies in singing and there's also animalies in talking really really fast so you can play around with these settings to make it sound shorter and faster um i also like to use this loop compress so you can see the yellow is what it's going to be playing so you can literally choose which part of the wavelength you actually want to do. And also, you can start it at different points of the wavelength. Oh, also, be mindful that when you change these settings, it's doing that for every single one. See, these are all doing the same thing. So, keeping that in mind, some of them are going to sound longer than others, so you want to make sure that you're inputting the markers the sections of where you want. So 
I do it from the beginning to the end and maybe a little further from the end to just trying to gauge the same thing for every um, letter. Like this is obviously looks very different from this. So I kind of eyeball it into be able to keep at least the um, the like you can still hear it as a C. Um, let's go over here where it's loop length. I don't want any of these. So I'm going to delete it. Return off the loop. And copy value to all siblings. So now none of them are in loop. Okay. Did it right. Go into the MIDI map and then delete it first. And then go in certain sections make sure they're kind of the same like this is way shorter than this one by the end of it honestly it's gonna sound pretty good we don't have to do all of them now but the reason why I wanted to do that is to show you that if you wanted to write a sentence since this is a DAW you can't just type in a, a word and then all of a sudden it shows up I know there's like other programs that you can like code into Ableton. Um, I just want to make a MIDI track. I did shift command M and that makes an empty MIDI track in whatever you highlighted in which I did four bars, which doesn't really matter because right now it's just speaking. So that way in here, I could literally draw in what I want to say so I can put H and say hello hello world why not So this is what it sounds like. Sounds like animal <laughs> And it was using my own voice. Um, 